Hans Kreitzer for CVSI Services, talking business. We're at Manhattan College today in Riverdale in New York City and uh, the opening of the new Higgins Engineering uh, Building. And we have a chance to talk to uh, Dean, Dr. Janet McShane from the School of Sciences. And uh, Dr. McShane, what's the day like for you? It's a big celebration and deservedly so here at Manhattan. It's very exciting to be here at the opening of Higgins Engineering and Science Center. Um, I was here three and a half years ago at the groundbreaking, and to be here now um, at this opening is just very exciting. We're, we're, um, it's just a wonderful facility for our students, and we look forward to you know, having future Jaspers being educated in the skills they need in the sciences. Well, certainly it's going to help in a lot of elements of STEM education that you oversee here at uh, Manhattan College. What will be some of the disciplines and the resources that will be utilized to study various sciences and engineering? Well, there's um, three floors behind me. Um, the first floor, um, all three floors have introductory uh, labs, laboratories for the introductory sciences. So the bottom floor is physics labs for our general physics courses. Um, the second floor is biology, and the third is chemistry. So all of those have brand new labs um, with state-of-the-art facilities, and we're just really excited about that. Um, this complements the other labs that are um, in, in Leo and Higgins, um, our research labs and other teaching labs. Um, with the School of Science also is uh, covers mathematics and computer science, and so our students take all of these courses and they will benefit from all these brand new facilities. It's very exciting. Very good. Certainly the study of STEM education, uh, science, technology, engineering, math has uh, increased. The world is so much more technical. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the areas of technology, engineering, uh, and computer science that they'll study here in the new building. Um, computer science isn't actually in the new building, but will benefit from our students in the School of Science in here. Um, and so in, in both computer science and mathematics, we have faculty that are very um, oriented towards data and data analytics. And this is an up and coming field, as you know, in, in STEM education. Um, we also have um, the students will be learning the skills they need to become scientists to help with things like we've just what we're encountering now with the COVID pandemic. So um, it's really going to be helpful for all of our STEM education. And Manhattan's got a long tradition, as uh, was mentioned in the ceremony today, over 100 years uh, uh, from its early its founding in the 19th century. Why has technology, engineering education, science education always been an important part of Manhattan College? Um, because I think Manhattan College as a liberal arts college um, realizes that we need to educate well-rounded citizens. Um, they need the liberal education, but they also need the skills and the techniques of the sciences and the engineering. And I think we do a wonderful job of combining all of those um, avenues for our students and giving them that well-rounded education. Very good. A final thought on this day of the opening of your new building? Um, I am just excited and I look forward to um, having students, current Jaspers and future Jaspers, um, be educated in this new building. And I want to thank uh, the Higgins. They, it's a wonderful donation from them. Thank you. Certainly is. Dr. Janet McShane, Interim Dean of the School of Science here at Manhattan College. Great to see you. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons for CBSI Services Talking Business.